Are you tired of the mundane activities day in and day out? The never-ending taxes, EMIs, the heat, that annoying neighbor, and other never-ending, never-ending problems. Don't worry, something is here to take care of our problems. All our worries will soon be over. Because a black hole has suddenly emerged out of nowhere, just like my ex, and it is looking at us straight in the eye. Just kidding, or am I? Let the cosmic journey begin. Scientists started to study this galaxy as it showed peculiar properties. Their hypothesis was that the relativistic jet of its supermassive black hole had changed its direction, and to confirm the idea, they carried out a lot of observations. PBC was previously classified as a giant radio galaxy because at one stage it sent out jet material on either side, which measures a mind-boggling 4 million light-years across around 40 times the size of our own galaxy. It was quite a shock then, when astronomers looked into PBC and realized it was pointing right at us. It means the galaxy has moved by a 90 degree angle and it's now a blazer, which means a galaxy point which has jet points pointing at Earth. The jet material from the black hole has created two huge lobes on either side of the galaxy and they are the most immediately notable thing when observed with radio waves. The fact that we see the nucleus is not feeding the lobes anymore means that they are very old. They are the relics of past activity, whereas the structures located closer to the nucleus represent younger and active jets. It's not exactly clear how this could have happened. One guess is that PBC collided with another galaxy which could explain how the angle of axis changed. Either way, this discovery affirms that we do not know much about black holes, let alone the universe. What do you think? Now, coming to the more concerning part that you are eager to listen. This black hole pointing directly at us do not pose an immediate threat to our planet. Supermassive black holes are incredibly far away from Earth with the closest one being located about 26,000 light years away in the center of our Milky Way galaxy. Even with the supermassive black hole pointed directly at us, its gravitational effects on Earth would be negligible. Furthermore, black holes do not emit any light or radiation that could harm us. Instead, they are detected through their gravitational effects on nearby matter, such as stars and gas. So, while a supermassive black hole pointed directly at Earth would certainly be a fascinating astronomical phenomenon to observe, it would not pose a danger to our planet, and yes, we need to learn a lot more about the topic. While it's highly unlikely that a supermassive black hole would start coming towards Earth, but if it did, it would take millions of years for it to approach us, and we would likely have plenty of time to prepare and take action. However, let's assume that a supermassive black hole is indeed coming towards Earth. In that case, the view from Earth would gradually change over time. Initially, the black hole would appear as a distant point of light in the sky, much like a star. As it gets closer, its gravitational pull would become stronger, and it would begin to distort the light from stars behind it, creating a phenomenon known as gravitational lensing. The closer the black hole gets, the more pronounced this effect would become. Eventually, the black hole would get close enough that its tidal forces would start to affect the Earth. In this case, the side of the Earth facing the black hole would experience a stronger gravitational pull than the side facing away from it. This would cause the Earth to deform, stretching it out into an elongated shape. As the black hole got even closer, its gravity would become strong enough to tear the Earth apart. This would happen well before the black hole actually made contact with the planet. The Earth's material would be gradually sucked into the black hole's event horizon, which is the point of no return, 
beyond which nothing can escape the black hole's gravity. While this scenario is highly unlikely to happen, if it does, will it be the end? What would we see while falling into the black hole? Let's explore. The Milky Way contains over 100 million black holes, but detecting these has been extremely difficult. However, in April 2019, the Event Horizon Telescope saw the first ever direct image of a black hole, a supermassive black hole, at the center of the giant elliptical galaxy, named M87. The boundary of a black hole is known as an event horizon. Although not a physical boundary, it is a point in space, beyond which it is impossible to escape the black hole's gravity. Once something passes the event horizon and falls into the black hole, it can never come out of it again. If you fell into a black hole, theoretically speaking, gravity would stretch you out like spaghetti, though your death would come much before you reached the singularity. But what if you could enter a black hole? How would you do it? The first thing would be to choose a supermassive black hole like the one within M87, which is over 3 million times wider than Earth to visit. This way you would be very far from singularity when you went over the event horizon, about 12 billion miles far. You would float for a long while, and may even last as long as a year, before you reach your end. What could be avoided though, are black holes with accretion disks. Only about 1% of supermassive black holes accumulate these fast spinning rings of matter. As we saw earlier, they can heat up to a million degrees and create large magnetic fields. Such powerful magnetic fields would instantly shut down your nervous system and stretch your atoms into thin rods till you dissolved into oblivion. If you had to visit such a black hole, then it should be entered perpendicular to the disk, far from the edge of the fiery ring. As you near the black hole, you'll see the light of the universe warped by the black hole's intense gravity. The sky will have streaks of light from the stars, and because the black hole bends the light that bounces off it, you might see duplicated objects around you. You will see the entire formation and history of the black hole since its inception. The concept of time slows interminably near a black hole's intense gravity. For the real world, you have slowed so much that you appear frozen, if seen as an image on the event horizon. However, for you the motion of the universe has accelerated. If you look back out as you float toward the singularity, you may see the universe go past you, only without you in it. Far-fetched and beyond the realm of theoretical physics as of now, there is one means of escape. If the black hole becomes a wormhole, it could take you into another part of the universe. Spaghetti feed, no doubt, but who knows, there could be someone or something on the other side that could pick up the pieces of your destroyed quantum information and make you whole again. So, would you like to travel to the other side of the universe or stick with us here, at the edge of the universe, until we meet again?